analyze my trade. I mean the trade for the pound and the US dollar. I currently in a shorting position for the pound and the USD. Here's why. Uh, first, first of all, let's look at the daily time frame. Uh, we see the week around here. There's a high. There's an uptrend. There's a high over here, and the price has fake out. It has been rejected after it reasonably broke its previous high. Okay, so we have a zone over here, and at the moment, for the last three three days, the Friday, the Monday, and the Tuesday. We can see that the price has also broke above its previous high. But, however, I can see that the price is likely to reverse because it hasn't continued the momentum to uh, continue the bullish. To if it breaks above the wick over here, uh, but right now it's just uh, like a small reversal. So let's look at a lower time frame. So we have the purple line over here is like a zone. I saw a zone for a lot of resistance. And H4 I don't see much. I go to a lower time frame H1. And I see there's a downtrend over here over the recent point. And well I can see that the price has somehow likely to perform a head and shoulder pattern you can see this is the neckline and we have a head and shoulder pattern over here uh, something like this I can see that the price has broke can the neckline and find its way to the support zone previously but uh, as you can see that I can see that it's reacting to the zone but I think I think that there will be more chance that the price will continue the momentum with the bearers uh, because I am looking for a huge swing at the moment and my strategy is that I can see a downtrend over here over the recent points and the price has break the price breaks the trend line but it doesn't confirmation for a bullish a movement for a new for a new trend line for a new trend but rather that I can see there's a, a double a candle over here uh, in my experience this is the work the like a signal the pattern for the reversal reversal momentum so what I can uh, I can see that there's a downtrend and the price hasn't break its previous high over here so I don't assume that it will continue the bullish rather than it would be uh, bearish at the moment right? because now I can see there's a, a candle reversal candlestick pattern and also, I can see that it's also reacting with in the neckline zone. Let's continue to our trade from the previous for the POW and the USD. So as you can see, from what I analyzed before, the price is currently in perform as we plan, as a plan. Uh, a downtrend over here, the price break the trend line, but doesn't confirm confirm the new bullish trend because the price hasn't uh, breaks its previous high. And it has been rejected at the same at the, this area 
Addison and when the news yesterday on the Thursday there was a I think it's a core CPI new for the USD and it has uh, fulfilled the the trade and the swing it takes a lot of time to perform to the the bearish movement to 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 act so I currently uh, earn this money I mean the floating profit for the power and the USD uh, if somehow you guys miss the entry uh, uh, over here or, or, or over there I think that there will be more entries because we can see that uh, the price is currently but has a new trend a new uh, a new trend which is a bearish as it breaks this trend line over here and price reject at the reverse high and then uh, breaks the low to confirm the new movement is bearish so we can I can see that there are multiple bearish candles is like uh, an accumulation over here and there would be likely it would be an a pull pack a pullback a retracement so that's why I, I have this Fibonacci over here and uh, I need to f wait for the euro and uh, the Europe the European or the New York session to enter to find another entry because I think that the price will retrace to the bearish movement maybe some more. my guess is that the, the below matching with the this 0.5 people actually retracement so good luck